it is time for more cards. Again, uh, a lot of these cards being grouped together this time around for this expansion. And today is a bunch of Frost Death Knight cards. So let's take a look at these cards. Uh, we've got Glacial Advance. Uh, I think they grouped it like the first kind of clump of cards are all one Frost Rune. Then they did kind of all the two Frost Runes together in three. And then we have Legendary. Uh, but this first one, Glacial Advance, a three mana Frost spell with one Frost Rune. Deal four damage. Your next spell this turn costs two less. Uh, this is a really interesting one. We've seen cards like this. And I definitely can see it getting some use um but dealing four damage i think instead of uh i think some other cards that are similar would only be dealing three so the fact that this deals four feels pretty impactful um i actually think this one is pretty pretty decent pretty good um now the only downside is it is the same turn that you play it for the discount uh, next, we have Howling Blast. Again, three mana, one Frost Rune requirement. It's a Frost spell. This one does deal three damage uh, to an enemy and freeze it. Deal one damage to all other enemies. Again, like the cards that I talked about uh, in the video yesterday, very flexible. Being able to target an enemy includes the enemy face. So you can deal damage, three damage, and freeze your enemy, like your opponent's face, the enemy hero, and then deal one to all of their minions, or you know, deal something to their a minion, freeze it, and it will end up dealing one to their face. So this seems really flexible, uh, and potentially, depending on the meta, definitely something that can do uh, quite a bit of work. So that one's pretty interesting. I like that one a lot. Uh, the next one here, uh, Mirjar Frostbreaker. It's one mana, one, two with a battle cry. Gain plus one attack for each frost spell in your hand. Eh, I mean, okay. Like, you might be able to use this, and maybe if you're playing the frost stuff, you might have some, but I guess it's fine. Could be a good one drop if, you know, an opponent doesn't have an answer, but silence or anything that deals two damage going to answer this pretty easily. So I'm really not actually very, like, thrilled on this one, honestly. Um, the next one, though, I am. And this is Remorseless Winter. This is a four mana frost spell with that one rune requirement. Deal two damage to all enemies. Draw a card. Again, deals damage to face. It's a, a bit flexible. Um, I mean, it does feel like slightly costly at four mana, but being able to have a board AOE and damage that hits face and you get draw, honestly, it seems really, really good. So I actually really like this one. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, seems like there's going to be some good draw for DKs. Uh, then we have Bone Breaker, a one mana, two attack, two durability weapon. After your hero attacks a minion, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Um, kind of interesting. In my uh, video where I created some cards, I actually did have a have a weapon that was kind of a similar effect. It was just after you attacked with that weapon, it dealt two to the uh, enemy hero. So similar effect. This one specifically says that you have to attack a minion. Um, cheap weapon can do some stuff. I can see this actually filling in in some spots for sure. A uh, cheap weapon that can answer early minions always seem to uh, to see some play. And this is kind like this is kind of aggressive in a, in a way as well. Uh, being able to attack an early minion and deal damage. At the same time, pretty aggressive. So I I like that one a lot, and I imagine it will see some play for sure. Uh, the next card we have is Defrost. Two mana Frost spell. Draw a card. Spend two corpses to draw another. Now, with the corpse mechanic, uh, you, it's not a choice. It just, when you play this card, if you have the two corpses in your little corpse, uh, like, tally your little corpse tracker then it will just automatically spend those corpses for you potentially two card draw for two mana and spending two corpses 
I don't know. I, I feel like of the card draw that we've seen so far for Death Knights, this one honestly feels like a little bit of a heavier requirement, um, but it, it might see some play. Um, but I'm not kind of as hyped on this card draw as I am on some of the other ones. Uh, then we have Acolyte of Death, a three mana, three attack for health minion. After a friendly undead dies, draw a card. Now this, this is the card draw that I want. <laughs> this is it. This is the card draw. Uh, this seems fantastic. It works with the hero power. There's cards that you can use, the, you know, to summon multiple like undead things all at, all at the same time with Rush. Um, so like, honestly, I feel like this is a much better card draw. If you're trying to go in on like the corpses and corpses giving you card draw, I like this one better than the previous card. And then we have Rhyme Sculptor, a five mana, three, three undead. And it is Battle Cry, summon two, two, one Rhyme Elementals with Death Rattle, deal two damage to a random enemy. Um, so, I mean, you're kind of getting what, seven, five worth of stats and the death rattles, two death rattles that are gonna give you two damage to a random enemy, okay. I think the uh, the effect itself here doesn't feel as great, but I think you wanna use this for an undead body, but I'm assuming that those two one elementals are elementals and probably not undead, which makes me like this a lot less. If this summoned two additional undead bodies, I think this would be absolutely amazing. But without that, I, I don't really think this card's all that great, honestly. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like it all that much. Uh, but the next one here, we have Repulsive Gargantuan, a four mana, three, six undead. Enemy characters can't be healed. Uh, pretty interesting um, concept. It, it says enemy characters. So that's the enemy hero. That's the enemy minions. None of them can be healed. Um, okay. I mean... In maybe in like a very specific meta where there is a lot of heal or something, you don't want them to heal. But uh, this kind of just seems like a decently statted undead body. Um, so I, I feel like if people play this, it's going to be for the fact that it's undead and not for its effect of preventing heal. Then we have Horn of Winter, which was uh, we're getting into the two rune cards now. Um, this one I think was already previously revealed, but definitely want to talk about this. This is a zero mana frost spell. Refresh two mana crystals. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, refreshing mana crystals definitely seems very useful. It's zero cost. It does take a spot in your deck, though. So that's kind of the, the payoff is you do have to put this in your deck. Um, but... I think if Druid has taught us anything, I can imagine cards like this definitely getting play. So I would suspect that people do play this card. Yeah, it's it seems pretty decent. Everything that costs zero essentially as sometimes sees play at least. So uh, the next one we have is Frost Strike, a two mana frost spell. Deal three damage to a minion. If that kills it, discover a frost rune card. Um I don't know how I feel on this one. Like, it seems okay. It's It has a lot going for it in terms of, you know, dealing some damage. You might get to discover something. It counts as a frost spell itself. But also, the fact of it's basically not quite as restrictive as honorable kill. But you do have to kill the minion with it. Um, and then it will discover a Frost Rune card, which this is the first time we're kind of seeing that. I think that's super cool. Um, so not a Frost like spell, but actually have the Frost Runes like those. Pretty cool effect. Um, I definitely think people will try this. It, because it's that two Rune uh, requirement, then it probably will see, see play, especially at the start when there's not as big of a card pool, but... I don't know. We'll see. It, it's very interesting. This is one that's like either going to be a fantastic card or kind of fall flat. I'm not really sure where on that uh, timeline it fits <laughs> right now. Uh, next up, we have Harbinger of Winter, a two mana, two, two undead with death rattle, draw a frost spell. 
Yes, 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 yes. Love this card. Love this card. This is fantastic. It's an undead. It fits what you want to do. It draws you a frost spell. It's, you know, okay, fine, like, whatever, decent stats. Um, so this seems super, super good. I like this a lot. Um, this is what you want to play in your undead, uh, in your undead, reliant frost kind of death knight. Just, it does so many things. Fantastic. Then next up, we have Rim Fang Sword, or Rhyme Fang Sword, a three mana, two attack, three durability. Uh, it is, again, that two frost rune requirement. And after your hero attacks, reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by one. Yeah, this, this also seems really good. <laughs> this seems pretty great. It's only got the two attack, but you're going to be able to discount uh, potentially three cost of spells and again you're probably running a lot of frost spells you're running things that you're if you're putting it in the deck you're really going to be wanting to play those spells so this is cheap enough that you can do a lot with it seems really good next up we have death chiller a two mana two three elemental after you cast a spell deal one damage to two random enemies uh yeah, really interesting here. Again, elemental, not undead, so sure. Um, but the fact that this is just after you cast a spell and it's going to deal damage, pretty interesting. It also does not specify enemy minions. So random enemies includes face. So these this damage can go face as well. I think this is definitely going to be a, a huge part of some Frost Death Knights. <laughs> Frost Death Knight decks seems really good. Then we have another weapon, four mana weapon, four attack, two durability, uh, Might of Menethil, Battle Cry, spend up to three corpses, freeze that many enemy minions. Um, so this one is really kind of interesting. It's got that high attack and works with uh, works with the corpse mechanic that you're probably going to be wanting to play in some of these Death Knight decks anyways. But oh my gosh, <laughs> it's also a battle cry. And if you want to get the full effect, you're going to have to sequence or play things in very interesting orders, like maybe playing a card that creates a corpse or killing something off first and then playing this. Um, and if you're against a deck that really doesn't have a lot of minions, Maybe you don't really get the effect, but you might want to play it for the four attack because four attack can be pretty significant. So this is a really cool card and I'm pretty excited for that. But it does seem pretty powerful, especially if you can get a maximum value off of those freeze effects. And the last one here with this is the uh, six mana, five, six Overseer Frigidera. Battle cry, draw two spells. If they're both frost spells, deal two damage to all enemies. Uh, this one definitely going to be a you really want to lean very, very heavily into the frost spells and not really have spells that aren't frost if you want this effect. Um, because paying six mana for a five, six body, not really that great. So like you want to get the effect, although you are still getting the two draws, like you're still getting two spells. And I, I think even in some cases that on its own actually might just be worth it. But um, I can definitely see this being a case uh, like we've seen with some other decks where it's maybe like three fourths of your spells or something end up being frost or you have only like, you know, eight spells in the deck and, you know, one or two of them are not frost. Uh, I, I could definitely see it being a mix, but drawing two spells in in its own right is actually really good. Um, so I definitely think that this is a pretty impactful card. Absolutely. Very, very well-rounded. Now we're jumping into the triple frost rune cards here. The first one is Marrow Manipulator. It is a six mana five, five undead. With a battle cry, spend up to five corpses, deal two damage to a random enemy for each. 
again, we're seeing this effect. It's just random enemy, not specifically minion. So this can go face, uh, spend up to. So it's it's a little bit flexible. If you only have three corpses, it's going to use up those three corpses. So you'll get basically six little bouts of damage, you know, six damage uh, split up over, over those triggers. <sighs> It's this this seems so good. <laughs> I really like this one a lot. This uh, with the previous card of dealing damage every time you play a spell. Uh, very, very cool effects. Um, I I definitely miss the days of like Flame Waker. And uh, now I'm totally drawing a blank. The card uh, that was in Warrior that uh, th was the axe flinger that was that's what it was um axe flinger even though it wasn't that great for very long it was absolutely one of my favorite cards uh early on and these cards feel kind of like that to me so pretty excited for these cards i think this is a really really cool card does you know force you to play that triple frost but it's definitely a powerful effect now, the next one we have is Frostworm's Fury, seven mana frost spell. That is deal five damage. Freeze all enemy minions. Summon a five five Frostworm. Uh, so it's dealing damage. It's freezing enemy minions. It's summoning a thing. Seems pretty cool. You can, I guess, target where you want to put this five damage. So you can kill something. You can send the damage face. Um, it is doing a lot, but I wonder how, how this card will be included if it is included in decks, um, because still paying the seven and it having to be in a triple frost, like a full frost deck, um, it, it still seems like a hefty price, but you are getting a lot of effect with it. Um, so I'm really curious to see how, how this is included in decks. I'm not like super in love with it at the moment. Uh, the next one we have is a legendary Lady Death Whisper four mana four three undead with a death rattle. Copy all frost spells in your hand. Now this one, the last one. Yeah, OK, this one. Super, super cool. I really like this <laughs> effect. It's cheap enough that you can play it and likely, you know, especially with this being a triple frost, you're probably going to have some frost spells. Um, I would imagine you're probably going to be able, on average, I would say probably two to four spells you would be able to copy. Um, hand size is probably where you're going to have to like just make sure that you have enough space. But if you are getting to play this on curve, you're probably going to have the hand space. And it didn't seem like there was a ton of draw for Death Knight so far. So... Um, you know, if you're playing this, you probably haven't drawn a ton of extra cards at, at that point anyways. Um, so this one seems really, really cool. I'm really excited to play with, uh, Lady Death Whisper. And the last one we have is another legendary here. This is, uh, the Sarian. It is a four mana, three, three undead. Only one frost rune requirement. Reborn. With a battle cry and death rattle, deal two damage to a random enemy. Really cool. <laughs> really cool effect. It's an undead. Like, this has so many things going for it. I really like this one a lot. Um, it's got the reborn. So when you play it, it'll get that battle cry of dealing two to a random enemy. You can kill it. It'll have that death rattle effect. It's going to have the reborn. So it's going to come back. And then you can trigger that death rattle effect again. Right. So that should be some extra extra damage. Even if you don't end up getting one of those effects, um, still seems really, really cool. Uh, works pretty well with some of the other frost cards that we saw of getting to, you know, deal damage to random enemies. And again, same flexibility, random enemy, not specifically minions. So this can end up going face. Uh, so it seems like the Frost Death Knights are definitely going to be uh, dealing kind of a lot of little burst damages and uh, can probably put out quite a bit of damage uh, very quickly. 
if uh if people can combo these cards together i don't know so far i seem pretty hyped i <laughs> i'm pretty excited actually for these uh frost death knight cards but what do you think let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already you can check out my death knight uh, like a deep dive and talking about how all of these frost runes impact deck building and how it's going to kind of change hearthstone and the way that decks are built